And the other reason why I, I chose to do is because I think it's a powerful story, like putting all of that aside about the choices we make, about decisions, about, about how our past and, and who we are influence the decisions we make and how those decisions could have ramifications. How's it going? Good to see you. Good, good to see you. You've got the world on your shoulder. I see. <laughs> well, yeah, allegedly, <laughs> but I'm just in the <laughs> suburbs of Chicago. Haven't left in a while, so maybe I should start <laughs> okay. pointing pointing to some spots on that globe and check it out. <laughs> you can get out now. You can get out. Go. go that is go. true. Mm-hmm. Vaccinated and all. So, uh, you know, I kind of wanted to start out by sharing you how I was kind of introduced to this film. So I saw an initial trailer for it when I heard about it, and it really blew me away because under like when you go on YouTube and you search a trailer, people are leaving like very heartfelt stuff about it. Like there's a woman who shared about her uh, husband having an aneurysm and how she's grown closer to uh, the eventual donors. And there's really a lot of stories and just kind of blew me away and people sharing their uh, thoughts on the film and how they might be impacted prior to seeing it. And any idea you guys got a chance to maybe see that or just kind of browse through? And what do you kind of think about that? That people are having such strong reaction, just seeing kind of the trailer posted without seeing the film and and connecting with it. I just thought it was one of the most unbelievable things I've seen ever. With like, yeah, I actually saw that as well. Um, you did? <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah, it's it's really um, it's pretty incredible. It speaks to how important uh, of a subject this is. I mean, the worldwide organ shortage isn't spoken about nearly enough. I mean, you know, statistics are kind of mind boggling. You have like 120,000 people on the waiting list. You have over 10 people dying every day. And one organ donor, one person, you opt in, you could save eight lives. And so I, it's something that I think people have been waiting to, to see on, on, on film explored in some way. And we've tried to present it in, you know, in, in a way that speaks, that tells a story, but at the same time, it does speak to a very uh, important and sensitive issue. And, and, and we realize that with that comes responsibility. And so I've tried to be, to be true to this uh, subject and, 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 and be as real as possible. Coleman, you've come across, across a lot of scripts. What stood out about this one? Because I know as a someone that watches movies and reviews and all that, I don't see stories like that often on screen. I, this was really unique uh, and stood out to me. What was the first kind of impression you had when you saw the script and you heard of this story in a sense? Well, it was a combination of not only the script, but it was also the filmmaker. You want to get a part of this person's dream and, like, and really... We had a great conversation. I talked about what Austin was, his intention was, and what he wanted to do. And you want, you attach yourself to that dream. You're like, oh, we want to really shine a light on this, this, this concern. And we want to really tell a compelling story. And so he invited, you know, other actors like, you know, Kelsey Grammer and Julia Stiles and Janine Garofalo, who just really want to help wrestle and interrogate these themes. And so you get on board for that. Do you know if it's going to be an incredible, impactful film? No. You hope. But it, it's that leap of faith that you take and you take it by getting, getting on board with these artists and at the core, you know what they're about and you know what they're trying to achieve. And if we can just all, and if you have a, a great director who can actually just like, you know, harness all that energy and guide us all there, we're gonna win. So it feels great. I feel very proud of this film and how it's getting out into the world. Now we just have to make sure that people see it. Absolutely. Austin, what sort of feelings did you have when you, because this was based on a play apparently, and then you kind of rewrote it into a screen. Uh, what sort of message or, or hope you had people would get out of it? Obviously, as we've seen, the impression has been pretty strong with people and, and you know, they, they're, they can connect to this story, but was there ultimate a, a goal that you wanted to kind of accomplish with this film uh, more so than just creating a film, but more so creating something powerful for, you know, society? Definitely. I mean, to, to make a socially relevant film, you want to stir conversations. Otherwise, what you know, what's if you, what's the point, right? You want people to talk. You want to contribute to a dialogue, and that's certainly one of the reasons why I made it. The other reason, and and also, I mean, what I would love for people to take away, I'd love for one person to opt in, one person who's not an organ donor to be a donor, because you know that that's the only way to 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 make a difference, unless these companies that are you know that are using CRISPR technology, gene editing technology, are actually able to crack crack that and grow humanized organs in animals. If that happens, then 
then we can we can move on from it. But until then, people need to donate. And the other reason why I, I chose to do this is because I think it's a powerful story, like putting all of that aside about the choices we make, about decisions, about, about how our past and, and who we are influence the decisions we make and how those decisions could have ramifications upon on the future. You know, that these that you make a choice and it's not it's not done there. It it's it it, it ripples, you know, and 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 when it's an important choice, it could really, it could not only affect your lives, it could affect the lives of others. And so it's for all of those reasons I chose to make this document. Makes sense. And Coleman, final thing. Uh, let's confirm this on this Real Talker show right here. Are you, are you trying to be a pastor on his side? Last two films I've seen you, you've been in a, pa a pastor. Is this something that you're trying to tell us here that you're doing? You, and never, you're gonna become... you never know. You never know. I might have the, the church a good feeling coming up. You know, I have no idea, you know, but I think that at, at my core, I'm, I'm a very spiritual person. I'm not a religious person, although I am an ordained reverend and I, I marry people here and there. But um, yeah, there's something in me that 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 is a, that's connected to spirit and uh, trying to um, do some good, put some good into the world, and be mindful of it. So there are some similarities there. But I'm also not afraid to go to the dark side and play some villainous characters. So you know, there you go. Perfect. We set the record straight there. Phenomenal job, fellas. I, I really connected with this film and something that stays with you when you see. And I think that's the powerful of great filmmaking is something that's long lasting and you take away. So awesome job. And hopefully you guys reteam again uh, and do yeah. something great. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jim. You Have got it. Take care, fellas. Yeah. Thanks, Good man. Attention.